what's up guys last video we make we made an introduction on refrigerants that we will be using especially on refriger refrigeration processes and heat pumps and so on and this is a diagram of the refrigerant 134a look how we have this bell shape here and we have pressure in the y-axis we have enthalpy in the x-axis remember we also see we've seen that before you can this represent all the mixtures possibles on the vapor liquid equilibrium this right here is liquid this right here is vapor and you may find even the critical point right here so even though you have another scale here, it's exactly the same on the left and this scale is also the same that that here. So let's do it actually. Sorry about that. Uh, we have isoterms. What does that mean? It is a line that is constant. Let's say the isoterm on, let's say what we're using 20 uh, Fahrenheit. I think we're using Fahrenheit. Yeah, Fahrenheit. It's very, I love these diagrams, they have a lot of information, but sometimes it's really, really different or difficult to get data. So you, you read a lot of numbers, for example, this 0 0.10, 0 0.15, but you don't know what. You need to find it here, which is cubic feet per pound. And I found out that they are measuring this in Fahrenheit. Quality does not have units. Uh, entropy, you, you may see entropy. They're using PTU, British Thermal Units, per pound per Fahrenheit, which is a very common uh, unit to use in the English system. And, well, of course, enthalpy, which is PTU per pound, and PSI, pounds per square inch in absolute value for the pressure. So this is the isoterm. Isoterm comes out here. You have 80 Fahrenheit, this, will, this should be 100 Fahrenheit, which you can see here or even here. And here, I love it. This is in the liquid phase, this is in the vapor liquid phase, and this is in the gas phase. And you may find this, look how it moves. 40, 40, 40 as liquid, then you get saturated. Then, of course, you need to decrease that pressure. You're decreasing pressure. Then you follow this line, 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 isotherm and you finish still with 40 how much is that 40 cheese around here and yeah i just marked you the blue lines so you may see how the isotherms move and i really wanted to show you the difference that in liquid you may see that these lines are also almost uh, straight lines and when you go to the uh, to the vapor phase you may see this Let's see, like curves, you have curves, and then long lines right here. That's for a isothermal line. Isoenthalpic line, well, of course, because we're plotting this in the x value, you will find these vertical lines, means that you have the same value of enthalpy throughout the system. So you were to have this mixture here, or a mixture here, or a mixture right here, the enthalpy will be exactly the same but of course this will be at 880 Fahrenheit and this is at 0 Fahrenheit there are different temperatures etc and what else what else mm, let's say a gas here will be you wanted to this point right here or this point right here they're almost the same temperature and so on guys so if I wanted to tell you please tell me how many mixtures May I have at 100 Celsius, or let's say Fahrenheit because we're using Fahrenheit, 100 Fahrenheit and 60 BTU per pound. Well, just go to 60 BTU per pound and you will uh, need to get intersection with the 100 Fahrenheit, which is essentially here, and you will have this point here. Vapor quality, I love it because you have a lot of data here it's 10 percent 20 percent 30 percent 40 percent of course this is liquid and this is gas or vapor so as you increase the vapor quality the amount of vapor will increase and therefore the value of x which is vapor quality 
until you get to 90% and I love it this line even tells you saturated vapor and this line tells you saturated liquid so you don't need to know this by heart everything you can find it is just to be patient enough to find the data isobaric lines of course are horizontal lines will tell you this line is the same pressure all the line so what does this mean let me a pretty common case is 14 0.7 psi which is one atmosphere so you're here 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 you hit 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 then you get this temperature which is saturated liquid increase the value of that until you get a saturated vapor keep going 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 until you increase the enthalpy and this is pretty common you can see as temperature increases to the right the enthalpy also increases is entropic lines well I told you we're not concerned right now with entropy but you also have them right and you have them inside the bell shape or outside in the vapor one and as you can see the liquid well it's not that much of a case so the important ones will be vapor ones and iso volumetric lines which I don't think it is that useful of course in processing which you have the same container or closed systems they will be of course important but in general, I think these are not that used. Depends on the problem, of course. But in general, all the lines that we have seen before are very, very important. And we have other refrigerants, but let me show you that in other videos. What's up guys, it's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.